Good morning. We will pay attention to adjustments and closing transfers in a partnership. This information is provided at the end of the year, that's 30 June 2015. The current account balances are provided at the beginning of the year because we never write in the current account during the year. We record all the adjustments in connection with partners at the end of the financial year. The current account of Hay has a credit balance of 16900 because he did not take all the money that he was entitled to at the end of the previous year, so the business actually owes him the 16900 The current account of R. Hay has a debit balance of 14050 So on the debit side, we will record the balance, and the reason why he has a debit balance is is because he took too much money at the end of the previous year. So he actually owes the business 14050 The partners are entitled to a monthly salary of 4,000 Rand per month. So if we look at the current accounts, any money that must be paid to the partners will be recorded on the credit side of the current account. Remember, the current accounts is part of your equity, and equity increases on the credit side. So I will credit the salary in the current account of A, 48,000, and in the current account of day, 48,000. And I have to go and create a salary account expense to do the double entries on the debit side. The salaries account of day will be debited with 48,000 Rand, and the salaries account of hay will be debited with 48,000. So we debit the salaries account to create an expense, then we transfer it to the current account to complete the double entry and to show that the business, the business owes our day 48,000. So that is our adjustment. We first have to do adjustments before we can do closing transfers and close the accounts off to the appropriation account. So my first adjustment is to create an expense for salaries and to record it on the credit side of the current accounts to show that we owe the money to the partners. The profit for the year is 160000 And then they say that our day is entitled to a bonus of 10% of this profit. So 10% of 160 will give me 16,000 Rand. So I must complete the adjustment to create an expense for bonus and show that we will credit the account of our day with the 16,000 Rand. Therefore, we will debit the bonus account of our day with 16,000 and we will credit the current account with 16,000 to indicate that we owe the money to him and we created an expense. According to the partnership agreement, the partners are entitled to interest of 6% per annum on their capital contribution. Our day increased his capital on the 1st of April 2050 with 20,000 Rand. So the calculation for Hay will be the 200,000 Rand capital and we will just multiply that with a 6%. For the uh, calculation of the interest of day, we have to take into account that 20,000 was only received on the 1st of April. So I will deduct the 20,000 from the 100, and on 80,000 Rand, I will work out 6% for the whole year. And then on 20,000, I will work out 6% from April to June, so that means April, May, June, only three months. So when they tell you that the capital was increased during the year, you will have to make a split in the calculation because the capital amount did not remain the same the whole year. 
So this 100,000 is the closing balance. After 20,000 was uh, contributed during the year, so therefore the 80,000 will receive interest for the full year at 6%. The 20,000 you will only calculate interest at 6% for three months. Now again, we will do an adjustment for it to show that the money is owed to her, the partners. Therefore, we will credit the current accounts with the interest on capital to show that the amount that we owe them increased. So the current account of Hay will be increased on the credit side with 12000 and the current account of Day will be increased with the interest of 5100 We have to complete a double entry for the interest, so we will create an interest on capital account that will be debited with those amounts. Interest on capital will therefore be debited with the 12000 Current account of A was credited and it will be debited with 5100 and the current account of R day was credited. So the first step that we completed, we did the adjustment. So in all these accounts, we debited the expenses and then we credited those figures in the current account. So if you look at the yellow figures here, that's all the expenses that we had to pay. And if we look in the current accounts, you will see that all the these expenses were credited to the current accounts. So the yellow figures, we debited the expense and we credited the current accounts. Now, after we've done that, we can only do the closing transfers and close off the expenses to the appropriation account. If we look at the appropriation account, we see that we debited the appropriation account with the salaries of both partners with the bonus and the interest on capital. And we will go and credit those nominal accounts to close off the expenses to this appropriation account. So I did the closing transfer in green. And now you will see that those same figures will appear in your expenses accounts on the credit side in the green figures to make it easier to understand. So the expenses I credited were the 48, 48, 16, 17,100 and all of them were transferred to the appropriation account on the debit side. After we completed the adjustments, debiting the expense, crediting the current account, completed the closing transfers, debit the appropriation account, credit the expenses. We have to do the last entry to divide the profit between, between the two partners in the ratio 2 to 1. After we've taken all the other expenses into account that will reduce this profit of 160000 the remaining profit that's left over will be divided between the two partners in the ratio 2 to 1. If we look at the appropriation account, the profit that we made was 160000 This is the profit after all normal income and expenses were taken into account. The expenses that's paid to the partners don't go to the normal profit and loss. That is deducted in the appropriation account. So I will take the 160000 and I will deduct all these expenses that must be paid to the partners. Then I take the 160 deducted and will, that will give me a closing balance of 30,900. And the 30,900 I have to go and divide between the two partners. So the one partner will get two thirds and the other partner will get one third of this profit. So that means that Hay is entitled to 20,600, Day is entitled to 10,300. We still have to pay this money to them and all money that is paid to the partners must go to the credit side of the current account. Therefore, we will credit the current account 
with the 20,600 and the 10,300. Now we've completed all the entries. So I add the amounts on the total side of the current account of Hay, and I deduct the drawings to see what is my closing balance. And I bring down that closing balance on the credit side. I do the same with a current account of day. I add the figures on the credit side, get a total of 79,400, deduct the figures on the debit side, and determine what is the new balance that will be carried over to the next year. So in both these cases, the partners did not take all the money that they entitled to, therefore they well, uh, the business will owe Hay 53500 and the business owes our day 22150 What did we learn today? We have to record this in steps. The first step is to complete the entries adjustments for salaries, bonus, interest on capital, debit the expense and credit the current account. Step two is to complete the closing transfers, closing the salaries, bonus and interest and credit the appropriation account. Then we must determine how much profit is left for the final distribution. So I take the profit and I deduct all those expenses that must be paid to the partners to see how much profit is left over that can be divided between them in the ratio one to two. We calculate this final distribution of profit and we transfer it from the appropriation account to the current account. We will transfer drawings to the current account and then we will calculate the balances at the end of the year.